Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. As promised, in this video I'm going to be fitting some power folding mirrors to this T6. Let's go check it out. Right, so let's take a look at what we've got. Now, these are the old ones. Um, I'm going to show you the new ones before I go to the old ones because we're going to have to use um, some of the old bits. Um, so the kit consists of these primed tops and the actual power folding mirror itself. So let's take a look and then I'll show you what I've got to sort out. So each of them has got just a standard plastic bottom panel, standard plastic sides, um, and the standard plastic fronts. Um, what we're gonna do is spray these back panels first. I'm gonna do that quickly, um, quickly. It will look quick in the video because it will be done in a few seconds. But it's going to, I've got to take my time to do that first. Then we're going to just break these down because um, I want to use this fascia surround. I want to use the bottom section as well. And I'd also want to try and make use of the top mirror caps. Um, as you can see, these are primed and these ones are in candy white. So first thing for me to do is to strip these down, take all the parts off that I'm going to use on the new mirror and then get these parts painted. Let's get that done. So we're just going to remove the old mirrors, um, making sure to unplug all of the looms um, and then thread it through the grommet hole there. Um, there's also three uh, T35 Torx screws to remove which hold the actual mirror to the van. Um, just be careful doing this. Okay, we're going to start the wiring now. So what we're going to do is um, find a space for the control box um, underneath the dash. Now I'm probably going to locate it just up in here um, using a cable tie or two. I'll secure it in place. Before we do that, we need to think about running the cables to the other side, because obviously there's two mirrors. On this control box, there are two live feeds. Now, the live feed I've got in my hand, which is the uh, red cable with the black line and the black little dashes, that is your um, ignition feed. Uh, so it needs a ignition live feed. And it also needs a permanent live feed. So what we've done is managed to use the fuse box um, for the um, ignition feed and the permanent feed. So we've got the permanent feed and the ignition feed. Excuse the pointer, better than a fat finger in the way. There is a blue and yellow, there's a purple, there's a yellow. The red and white and the black and white are all coming into the driver's door. So over this side. The yellow cable itself actually needs to go to the switch. The others need to tie into the loom. So we're going to look at that in a moment. The black and red goes into number 12 on this box, along with the red and white, which goes into number 11. So on the passenger side, um, this needs to go into this box so it's very difficult to tell but if you position the uh, box so that the purple plate at the back end is on the lower side and turn it facing you um, top left is number 12 and then it works backwards so 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and so on um, red black needs to slide into number 12 now I'm gonna try and do this whilst holding the camera should be quite fiddly so that's now in top left uh, there you go so left 
it's 12 and then 11. So those are in. Uh, once you've configured that out, we need to connect the yellow wire to the actual switch. So that, there is only one hole that that will go in. But in case you're wondering, it is number eight. So the yellow wire fits into that one. So on this, you'll see if you use uh, a little pokey tool just here, you want to just poke the tool in and this side pops open. That will allow you to actually push the cable in um, and then when the cable's in and nice and secure, pop it shut. Um, yeah, happy days. And these two need to um, attach or plumb or however you want to put it into the existing colours in the loom in here. So we've got to find those cables in here. I just wanted to clarify that this um, violet or purple wire is the vehicle factory lock wire. Um, so you need to tap in so that when the vehicle locks, they power fold up. Um, and then the blue and yellow wire, which is tapped into the vehicle's blue and yellow wire, is the unlock. So when you unlock, they fold back down again. Um, pretty cool. Right, so let's just bring you back in here to the wiring. Um, so what I've done, uh, or what I've decided to do, should I say, is take the earth and pop it up here on this um, earth bar, one of the factory points. Um, there is one in here, um, and you could go, if you really wanted to, um, there's one on the fuse box too. Um, the one in here has been used for quite a lot of aftermarket bits and pieces. Um, so rather than maybe you're potentially causing an issue down the line, um, I put I put it I popped it on that one. This is the old mirror, um, and as you can see, I've had to dis disassemble it, take it all apart. I've had to use the um, the aerials and all the cabling. Um, I've also used uh, the lower section and the front section um, because it was all gloss black um, to go with the gloss black theme that's going on here. Uh, so as you can see, so inside, so it uses all the old existing aerial stuff. Um, so that is on both mirrors. So on both sides, you need to disable everything, um, reuse uh, the internals basically. Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll see that when you come around to fit in your own. But um, I do apologize for not videoing that part. Um, I was getting a little bit trigger happy fit the new factory switch um, so this is the old one and this is the new one uh, it's pretty straightforward um, just literally if I can do this one-handed slots in so there you got it Right, so what I've got to do now is just get the door card on. Um, you'll see that the door card's been suede lined. Um, and then eventually when I've got all that back together, you'll see that's been suede lined as well. Um, if you want to see uh, how to suede line your doors, etc., um, that'll be in another video. So go and check that one out too. <laughs> it guys thanks for watching the kit itself is from traveling light i did mention that during the video the link is in the description below if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon and follow me for some more videos see you soon